I recently tried a modded version of Smart Gaga on my potato PC, and not only did I get 30 plus FPS on Free Fire, but also PUBG Mobile was running quite smoothly, thanks to the Android 7 base. After seeing such good FPS, I quickly made a video on this emulator. Now, although I've explained the proper installation of Smart Gaga in this video, I've also mentioned three mistakes that people often make when using Smart Gaga. So, if you want to avoid these three mistakes, watch this video until the end. Let's start the video. The system requirements for Smart Gaga are typically like this, but when you see the specs of my PC and watch the gameplay of Free Fire, you'll be surprised. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. The download link for this file will be available in the description below. You'll also need WinRare software in order to extract the zip file, and the size of this file is 310 MB. Simply right-click on the zip file and extract it. Then navigate to the extracted folder and launch the setup. After launching the setup, click on the appropriate button, and the installation will begin. Once the installation is complete, you'll find a folder where you need to launch the emulator file. This emulator takes two minutes at 98% to launch. As you can see, our emulator has launched successfully. Now, let me quickly install Free Fire's global app. As you can see, Free Fire has been successfully installed. Let me show you a short gameplay, and then I'll discuss three common mistakes you should avoid. Now let's talk about the three mistakes you should avoid. One, never use full CPU cores. Avoid utilizing all CPU cores when running any emulator. Using all cores may lead to a PC crash. Always use half of the available CPU cores. For example, if you have two cores, use only one. And if you have four cores, use only two. Two, disable unnecessary processes when starting the emulator, disable unnecessary background processes, including explorer.exe. After disabling unnecessary background processes, you'll notice a significant improvement in FPS. If you want to re-enable explorer.exe, press Alt plus Control plus Delete on your keyboard, then go to Task Manager, click on New Task, and type explorer.exe. 3. Never use a low space partition Avoid installing the emulator in a partition with low space. Always install the Android emulator in a partition with 15 to 20 GB of free space. This ensures that when RAM usage is high during gameplay, the emulator can use storage space as virtual RAM. Friends, I hope you liked today's video. 
If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. I will meet you soon with a new video. If you have any topic suggestions, feel free to comment below. I will make a video on that topic as soon as possible. Until then, goodbye.